The family of some of the victims in last week's fatal Kauai car crash are still grieving and still searching for answers, trying to figure out what happened. Four people killed when the Nissan Cube they were in crossed the center line and crashed head on into a delivery truck. And now, for the first time, we're hearing from the president of the company that owns that delivery truck, who says the driver is devastated and that he did everything possible to avoid the crash. Bridget Namata follows up. Keikoa Kamat describes the moment he learned his sister Chelsea and two year old nephew Kavai Nakoa were involved in a car crash. It was heartbreaking. Um, it felt like somebody stole a piece of my, my heart away from me. It's something I wish nobody has to go through. We're taking it one day at a time. But we're just going back on their memories that we have. Like I said, the videos of my nephew and stuff. Chelsea and Kavai were flown to Queen's Medical Center on Oahu in critical condition and later died. Chelsea leaves behind three other children under the age of seven. Kamat tells me their family is picking up the pieces, but a big question remains. We just want to know what really happened. Kauai police say the driver of the Nissan Cube veered into the opposite lane on Kohio Highway and Kealia. The driver collided with a Paradise Beverages delivery truck. Photos of the scene taken by Kauai Police Department show the aftermath of the crash. The president of Paradise Beverages tells me the driver suffered minor injuries, but it affected him in another way. The driver knew some of the passengers in the Nissan Cube. Uh, I'll tell you, our driver uh, did everything he could to avoid uh, you know, the oncoming car. In fact, he, he was concerned that he ran out of, of space on the right edge um, you know, without uh, endangering himself by going through the guardrail and, and, and over, uh, uh, over the cliff. So, uh, you know, he felt bad about that. I called Kauai's police chief, Daryl Perry. He tells me the investigation into the crash is ongoing. The department will examine all of the cell phones in the car to see if distracted driving is a factor. They're also waiting on toxicology reports. Perry does not think speed was a factor in the crash. Bridget Namata, KHO on 2 News.